you would do, baby. Hey guys, thank you for liking, subscribing, thank you for watching. Welcome to Vegeta Saiyan Army. Today, if you're trying to ball on a budget, if you're trying to make a deck that's cheap, this is the best deck in the game. I'm talking about Vegex. The reason for that is because I think that no other deck has a smaller gap in skill and, and potential between the expensive version of the deck and the cheap version of the deck like Vegex does. Like it's obviously the expensive version of Vegex is way better, but the gap from the cheap version is, isn't as big as like, like King Piccolo needs really expensive cards. You take those cards away, the deck really goes a lot lower. Uh, Invoker, Red Broly, these decks need really expensive cards since Shenron. Now, Vegex, I mean, it does as well, but you can replace those cards comfortably. Like Invoker, without the money cards, it's like completely unplayable. King Piccolo, not so much. They Red Brawly, not so much, but like it is way less good. Um, so I'm not going to go too much into the deck. I'm just going to show you guys a deck list of if you're new and you want to pick up a deck and you don't know what to play. This is a great leader if you're new or if you just want to like a budget deck. Or you want, or let's say you're just playing red, or you're playing blue, or you're playing yellow. And you're like, you know what, let me try out black. Because black is like maybe the best color. Maybe red is as well right now, as of the recording of this video. And you just want to try black, and you don't want to invest too much. You want to drop, like, a, a reasonable amount of money. This is the deck. Um, again, so this guy, you can only play black battle cards. It bursts five. You draw one. Um, you untap one and draw one to awaken. Spark in 20. You shuffle the drop back into the deck, uh, so you don't deck out. Uh, again, you can still only include black battle cards. Uh, and then again, activate main. Draw one first this time, and then you uh, burst five, and your unison gets double strike. Uh, okay, so first things first, four of each. Okay, you're gonna you're starting to build this guy four of each. Now the best thing you can do is just go to TCG player and buy two of the Vegex, uh, Saiyan Wonder starter decks. Okay. You do that, you're golden. Or you can just buy it in singles and TCG if you can find it as well. Just buy the cards I'm about to show you and you'll be fine. But I think it's a little bit more value if you buy the two starter decks. Because they're like 22 bucks each. Uh, so, these four cards get played for free when you burst with your leader. If you're new, the best thing I can tell you is to read your cards. Read your cards, get used to the ruling, and play. Play on untap, play in your local tournaments. Just... You're going to lose. You're going to make misplays. It's okay. But the best thing you can do is learn by playing, right? And read the cards well. Don't be afraid. If somebody's in front of you, you don't know anything about it. Be like, hey, man, I, your deck's really cool. Do you mind if I read it a lot? I haven't played against it. Uh, do you mind if I pick that up? Let me pick up a card and read it. You're going to be reading a lot in this game if you're new. Um, but four of each. Uh, the one all the way to the left. The one drop is a super combo, basically. The three drop is a blocker that awakens you. The four drop is a 19k attacker that has removal built in. And that one is a unison that's uh, very good. It has double strike as well. Um, all of these cards are great. Not to go too much into them, but you have to have four of each. Because you want to have as many of them in your deck as possible. So that when you burst, you have a higher probability of getting them off. So we're starting the deck. Where are we at? Eight. We have 16 cards right now. I'll go to the next. These two cards, you need four of each. Sun Goku, True Fighting Spirit, and Dark Power, Black Messiah. Dark Power, Black Messiah. They're both one drop 5Ks. After you play them, if you attack with them and you take a life, they become 15K attackers. This is great because like turn two, maybe you want to like swim with them and self-awaken and get yourself to like burst five awaken burst another five play more cards um it's really deadly against some decks like the aggressive version of this deck is really 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 good and again up to here we're playing cards that i play and this is gun on my if, if an alien comes to earth and points a gun at my head and he's like hey the fate of the world is in your hand you gotta play one deck i would play vegex this is my deck and up to up to now the deck, the budget deck, and the competitive deck is exactly the same. Four Dark Power, like my saying, four Son Goku True Fighting Spirit. Not only do they have those abilities of the attacking thing, make it on 15k, but Dark Power, like my saying, makes your opponent drop two cards if they play something with a non-keyword skill. So just if it's played 
with the color red, pink, or green, they have to drop two cards. And it's 15k or less. A lot of decks are shut down by Dark Power Black Masaian, like Piccolo. Um, I mean, there's cards like a Negate, but it is a, a pain in the butt. Dark Power Black Masaian is a really good card. Sun Goku, two fight experts, very similar. If your opponent wants to use a counter skill, they have to choose a card in their hand and send it to the warp. So he's a pain in the butt as well. Both of these cards are very good. Four of each, right? So next we have Power Burst. It's a negate that grabs a one drop back to your hand. So you grab your one drops after they've been killed or after you bursted them. Four of those. For furthering Distortion Champa. Uh, you can also do like Kraken's Face Time. Uh, but you have to charge black as well. But it only works on leaders. And further Distortion Champa works on anything. But it's five less. But it's stressed so you can't charge it. Um, so I mean do you. I would do four of each of these. Uh, the, the super combo. You can do whatever super combo you want. I like the trunks. Uh... But at the Vegeta is the best super combo, but it's a little more expensive. The Trunks is the cheapest. You'll be fine. Uh, so again, four of each of these as well. Now on your Overrun package. I love Revived Ravager Vegeta. I actually have them. Up to now, the deck looks identical to the competitive deck. I do play Revived Ravager Vegeta. It's a really great turn one play. Uh, you Overrun for three for free, which is what I like about them. And it's critical. And when you do that, he bursts three cards. Which is great because it gives you a chance to play more time agents. Or some of those free cards. And it gives you overrealm fuel for the turn two overrealm. Uh, so this is the turn two overrealm. Revived Ravager Vegeta. You want to do... I, for a budget deck, I would do four Revived Ravager Vegeta. Do four of him. And then two Bardocks. And then two Awakened Warrior Bardocks. On turn two, if you feel like... You want to extend a little bit and you want to like swing and see how much damage you can do. Play Awaken Warrior Bardock. Go for the double strike. Put in pressure. If you think that next turn there's going to be a next because you can't kill them this turn. And if you think there's going to be a next turn, play Bardock the Tenacious. Uh, for one energy when you play them. Uh, uh, what's it called? When this card is played during uh, using Overrealm, your opponent can only attack with battle cards once during their next turn, right? I didn't put numbers on any of the ratios because I want you guys to test it yourself and do it yourself and kind of mess with it. But I would do four Revive Ravager Vegeta's and two of each of these Bardocks. I think it's cool. They're obviously, now this is where it starts getting budget. The real, my deck has SS4 Bardocks, but those guys are expensive. Um, I also have uh, other Overrealm options, but they're more expensive. I have Koitsika, I have stuff like that, but for the budget version, these cards are all like 50 cents each. I think Revive Ravager is like a dollar. I could be wrong, but this is budget. Four Revive Ravager because you want to see it turn one. And then two Awakened Warriors, two Bardock the Tenacious. Uh, the, there's the Mira Overrealm is really good as well if you want to buy that. It goes with the Champa really well as a finisher. But you, this is a good idea. This is really good. This is really cheap, really value for you, and really good, honestly. Um... Um, and then three of each of these. These guys are just like 50 cents each. I'm not going to say these are the greatest cards ever, but for the value that they do, they're really good. Um, one of the reasons I use the Trunk Super Combo over the Vegeta one is because the Trunk Super Combo um, and the Revived Ravage of Vegeta are uh, fodder for the Unipatora that these guys need. That these guys need if you choose to go in the direction of this this is just an option now if you go for the ratio on the over realms that i told you which is four revive ravager vegetas and then two and two of the bardocks you have six cards left in your deck you can do three and three of these guys um so the way it goes is for three energy you play the guy in the left here vegex space time synthesis when you're playing for three you go to your warp and you grab a black card which i think like three or less what is it um Add up to one battle card with an energy cost of four or less from your warp and add it to your hand. So like a super combo, who knows, it doesn't matter. Um, a one drop. And uh, so you swing with him for 25k double strike. And then you evolve the seven drop over him. Uh, double strike, Sino evolve with an energy cost of six. Now, Sino evolve comes in in active mode. So you swing with both. Uh, this guy's really cool though. When you swing for double strike for 30k with this guy, every time he swings, he warps a battle card. This is really good. Um, it is three energy. It is expensive, but 
this is a really good build okay now again all of these cards you don't have to run these cards i mean you can adjust again i didn't put any ratios um you can you can build this however you feel comfortable with i like the four revive average vegeta and then maybe just do three awakened warrior bardocks or just like two bardock the tenacious um if you want more chambas or something but for sure i would do four power burst four trunks four champa maybe less maybe two maybe three some people run more four of each of these four of each of these that's how you should run the deck that's 50 right there for you and all of these cards are all 50 cents 20 cents uh revive averagers a dollar but it's a really cheap deck and it's really really good um with some really good finishers uh no deck is this cheap and this good period um if you if you want some other options um there's two expensive cards here, but they're worth mentioning. The Heroine's Lineage is $100, but it's a secret rare. But it's not just a secret rare, but it's just like, it goes on any deck. So you're set for any budget deck you want to build. If you want to spend money on one card, and it's not that expensive. It was $70 not long ago. I think it's $100 now. Um, you can open, you, you can crack some packs and open it, honestly. The pull rate is not bad for it. Also, Secret Identity, Mass Saiyan in the bottom. He's extremely good. I think he's worth the $5 price. He's in my main deck. I think he's one of the best Overroam cards in a game, if not the best. Overroam is so broken, but besides Super Saiyan 4 Bardock, this guy's insane. Uh, what it does is, when it's played using Overroam, choose any number of your opponent's battle cards that add up to a total energy of 6 or less, and warp them. So it gets rid of blockers, super combos, one drops, anything your opponent may have played that you want to get rid of. Um, these are just options that you can add in the deck for anything you don't like if you don't want to play the Union Patora package Add some hidden power E Supreme guys add some negates add some uh, Vegeta the true fighting spirit uh, He works like the other one drops But if your leader card is black which it is when your opponent switches their energy to active uh, Using a non-awakened skill they choose a card and send it to the warp really good if you're playing something that's gonna untap uh, Max power Kamehameha You should play your deck not like when you watch uh, cotton creators like do deck profiles and they're like oh yeah i'm playing like three koisikai because i'm expecting to play a lot of this or that play how you're local like if you're not going to a major event and you're just going to locals and nobody in locals plays like baby or something that's gonna play stuff on your turn don't build your decks uh, the way some competitive players are saying like if you're going to locals and everybody's playing since shenron maybe play max park Kamehameha. it's really cheap as well I think it's a dollar uh but it's a negate and also uh for one energy you can uh destroy something in your opponent's side that's bigger than their so if they're playing like a big bomb or like since shenron plays big guys um you can get rid of it it sends it to the warp uh hit power e supreme guy is another just double striker you can add to the deck some people were playing like three champa three supreme guy uh, Dimension Banisher Fu and Scientist Fu are extremely good as well. I don't like that they cost one, but warping a battle card is important because a lot of decks have cards that say like you can't KO it, and Dimension Banisher Fu gets around that. It's over one five for one energy, and it's 20k double strike. Um, Scientist Fu is really good as well. It's 25k double strike for one energy over realm, and it draws two cards, which is sweet. Um, and Kraken Space Time. Again, like I said before, it's black. It's for the leader. It gives the leader only 15k double strike. But again, guys, uh, go with what you want. Heroine's Len Lineage, the, the one I was talking about, it's a secret rare. You can only have one in your deck. But for one energy, it just steals a card and uh, activate battle. Um, it's a type of... If you have to own one secret rare, I would make it Kai, the Supreme Kai of Time, or Heroine's. But this is, this is like a budget version. Um, I would say get the Heroines Lineage. Um, this is the deck I recommend you guys playing. If you guys have questions, let me know. Join Vegeta Saiyan Army, uh, the Facebook group. Uh, we're always talking about this deck. I This is probably my favorite. Like, Majin Vegeta and this are my favorite decks. But there's decks out there, like Majin Vegeta, that can be wildly inconsistent. And you have to build it, you know, to be very as consistent as you can but this is a deck that flows with you this is a deck that like it always sees its pieces like it's all up to you and like sometimes you'll whiff on something but the deck no deck is more consistent than vegex vegex is is always gonna and it's so free it plays things for free if you're a new player i recommend you play this if you're on a budget i recommend you play this 
like, just because it's so good for a new player, I recommend you play it, even if it was expensive. And it's so cheap that I recommend you play it, just because it is so cheap at the same time. So, like, on both fronts, I recommend you play Vegex. Um, are there more fun decks, cooler decks? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I have a lot of fun playing Vegex. I know a lot of people say that uh, it's not very fun. I have a blast with it. Um, I try to play different decks all the time just to uh, keep myself sane. But this is my favorite deck. Um, if you guys have questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, liking, and I'll see you guys next time.